right, I had a request to actually film how we get to some of the beautiful locations here in northern Maine to do our videotaping, so that's what we're going to show you here. I'm going to try not to have it shaken too bad, but uh, that wasn't us actually hitting things. That's Oliver whacking his hand on stuff on the dashboard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, um, just kind of show you here. I mean, you zoom this around. Sorry for the shaking. Not exactly a smooth road, but uh, <clears throat> we're heading back to a waterfall at an undisclosed location. I don't want to say where these places are because I don't want a whole bunch of people flocking here, messing up the wild beauty and stuff of it. So, if you can figure it out, then you deserve to be, you know, at the waterfall where we're going to be going. If you can't figure it out, then uh, sorry, tough apples. So film as more as we continue. Well, there's the road coming into the parking area here. There's our Chevy tracker, and I have no idea where the trail is. <laughs> There's not really any good trail in here, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be down that way. It looks like there's a little bit of a clearing down through there, so we're just going to kind of do some bushwhacking here. Now we're just going to walk through it, so. <laughs> Looks like a moose was here and he's been eating good. <laughs> we like to call that mooseberry pie. Mooseberry so. pie. Uh-huh, that's right. So <laughs> we're, we're still walking through the woods. There's no trail at all to speak of. We're just kind of using a compass and, and trying to get to where we're going. So, enough. okay. I'm taking nothing off. Yeah, you're taking some branches off. Yep. Okay, we're going to keep on hiking. Here we have some swamp area. It's kind of dried up a little bit. But if you're trying to find a river, the good thing to do is find any kind of water source like this. And if it's flowing downhill at all, then you follow that to the river. So, still not quite sure where the river's at. No trail. This is the first time here, so we'll find it, Lord willing. A mushroom walking through this pine forest here. Still haven't found anything that resembles a trail. Okay, we just keep on heading south and we should be able to eventually find it, I think. Here we have some bunch berries. They're very edible, not the best tasting, just kind of bland, but they have big seeds in them. But they're very high in pectin, so we've used them in the past to make cranberry sauce. Uh, of course, you can't use the seeds, you gotta separate the fruit from the seeds, but you can do that with a strainer. But there's your bunch berries, just one of the many, many edibles, wild edibles out here in the wild you can learn about free food and much better than anything you'll get in the store. Oh, really beautiful, intriguing mushrooms. Amazing what you can see when you're out here in God's creation. Wow, incredible. They look like little cups. That sounds like there's people down in there. Still didn't find a trail, but we're making our way down in. It's kind of getting a little bit hilly down through here. Kind of swampy, I'm glad it's been kind of dry recently because this would be really bad if it wasn't. But uh, we'll film a little bit more later. Well, pretty steep ground coming down. Um, trying to find a good place to film. There's people up at the waterfall, which really stinks. Um, you might be able to hear them in the background, but yep, I gotta try to traverse this thing with our gear and everything. So, film when we get to a better spot. All right, well, made it to the river down here. The waterfall is right up there where we wanted to go to. Um, there's another road that comes in from the other side of the waterfalls, kind of comes up that way. We came in from this way, the north down to the south. Um, but there's people up there and we're not gonna go up in and, you know, family so we're not going to go up and mess up their day so um, so we're going to start our hike back up out of here and you can see by our little 
mountain goat there, the mountain goat boy. He's already starting to climb, but it's a pretty steep climb up and out of here with uh, our gear and everything. So, okay, that's gonna be it. Okay, here we are, day number two. Back to look for the waterfall again, and we took a kind of a rough road here. Back in through the, uh, the truck today because we had to pick up, oh, excuse me, had to pick up some things. And uh, that's why they call them a pickup. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a little bit rough back through here. Actually, had to put it in four wheel drive. At a really big steep hill and uh, got stuck on it in two-wheel drive and just put it in four-wheel drive and crawled up it but man really steep and this is definitely not a very well maintained road unmarked. No. Yeah, it's an unmarked unmaintained road so yeah a little bit rough we'll uh, do some more video stuff later on so we don't make people sick all right change of plans the the uh, waterfall we were trying to find the roads that we're looking at just aren't getting us there so we decided to go to another waterfall area that we do know so i'm gonna hike back in show you a little bit of video as we are hiking nice trail through some uh, cedar and fir forest here um go left Very nice day out today, but it's a little bit warm. I think it's supposed to be in the mid to high 80s today, which for northern Maine is a little bit warm. And uh, really trying to keep the camera from shaking. There's a rope over here. You can actually go down. You're gonna go down that way. Yep. All right. Take. Make sure. Stay with Oliver here because it's a real steep. Go on, go on over to mom. Just wait for Oliver, you're probably gonna need to help him a bit. Yeah, that's why they got the rope. Let me show you that. You know, it's a good trail when you got a rope to get you down. That's pretty cool. I'd go that way, but I can't because I got both hands full camera in one hand and tripod in the other see so tricky 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 here last year and Oliver's a little bit too slow to or too small rather to to go down this so grab onto some branches and trees and stuff like that I honestly think it's easier to come up a hill like this than it is to go down it. So. Oh boy. Try to hold the camera as still as I can. Well, it's pretty steep here. I'll just kind of turn to the side. I can give you a little bit of an idea how steep this is Go backwards if you need. going down Hold on to the tree limb. Side the video we did up on top of the one mountain here uh, Mount Chase we climbed to the top all the way up to the summit and uh, Oliver went up that the whole way so 2,500 feet up so I suppose I should probably quit making video here and 
try to hold on a little bit more. Nah, not doing too bad. It's a really, okay. really beautiful day though. I always come out here to a place like this and think of how neat it looks and, and then you just wonder how heaven's going to look. It's just going to be really incredible when you think about it. And it's so amazing. You see such beauty like this and then you look down. I probably can't see it and I can't push zoom but there's a beer bottle laying there. And you just think how in the world could people come out to such a beautiful place like this and bring something like beer and get drunk you know i just i never have been able to understand that and then not have enough character to take it out with you right there's the beer bottle right in the center of the picture there i don't get it i don't understand lost people anymore now that i'm born again eh, it's real steep but i'm gonna shut this off for now and uh We'll get down to the bottom and do some more recording. Well, here we are down, down the hill a little bit further. We're on the rope side now, a little bit rough. But uh, we're making it hard with the tripod carrying that down. And there they are going down. Now again, as you can see, this is quite steep. Just about down to the river now, but uh, really crazy steep. Man, very difficult getting down to where I am here with my tripod, but Lord help me to do it. Okay. Well, we're down to the almost the bottom of the hill. And there it is going up, way up. So now I got to get down here and join them. I'm be shooting some video down there with my tripod. So uh, the things I do for interesting video backgrounds. I go down the hill here a little bit. You know, I just my whole desire for this exercise here of preaching out in the middle of nowhere like this. People, of course, say it's because I'm an isolationist. Well, that's partly true, but uh, the real reason is I want people to see God's creation and think about the Lord, you know, as they're listening to the Word of God being preached by myself, I want them to be able to look around and see uh, the beauty of God's creation. Not Mother Nature, but God's creation. You know, that's an important thing to me. And uh, understand that, that you can be saved in a Christian and not have to be part of organized religion. And um, to me, that's very important. And that's what I try to get through with my videos. And uh, so I'm really trying to stay steady here. I apologize if there's any bumpiness to it. And there's the big waterfall. All right. Oh boy. Was it worth the trek? Yes. yes. Just slightly, I huh? To go on that. I'm going to be out. I want to stand out on the rocks someplace. Okay. Watch out here. Let me get past you. Here, hold this tripod for just a minute. And over there's the waterfall. Really beautiful. The water's really low right now because we haven't been getting much rain. But uh, still quite beautiful. Well, a lot of rock, huh? All right. You hear that water running? Oh, that's what I call rock music. <laughs> All right, time to get to work.